right, what's going on you guys? Nick here with Nick Strength and Power. I'm here with the pro creator, Hani Rambod. We're gonna be doing a little recap of the Arnold Classic pre-judging. We just wrapped up earlier this evening. We got some differing opinions. I think it's gonna be kind of an interesting conversation. So Hani, getting started, what did you think of the top three, Samson, Nick, and Andrew Jack? I think between the lighting and the fact that they were really in shape, it, I should say it got accentuated, the fact they were in shape, mm -hmm. but the lighting also really helped be able to show a lot more depth to their physique. The the way I have that top three right now is they're really battling it out. It's really close. But my pick right now for winning the show is Samson after pre-judging because I felt like he was the most complete. I thought Nick was the, the hardest, but I also thought that Andrew was definitely probably one of the most improved. So what, in what aspect do you think Samson really takes Nick the most? What do you think his biggest advantage over Nick is? His legs. His legs? I think, I think that he's a little bit flat through the legs. Things could change between now and tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But I think right now, from what I saw, he just was a little downsized in the legs. And then at that point, it also can make his weight, waist look a little bit wider on that front double bicep and that front lat spread. You don't think the hamstring's gonna be a deciding factor with Nick's hamstrings being as dialed as they were in those back shots? And I think the side poses for Nick were really good too. I think you take Samson in the side tricep, maybe the side chest. Samson has a really good chest, but what do you think about the that aspect of the legs? You talked about the quad sweep earlier with Nick and his legs being a little downsized from the front, mm -hmm. but from the back and the sides, I thought they looked pretty damn good next to Samson and Andrew. Like I said, the conditioning is there. It's just mm -hmm. a matter of the silhouette. Yeah. If you look at the shape, he's going up against two shape guys now. So you but have- But he beat both these shape guys the he, last time they went He did, that. but I also think that he was a little bit bigger and a little fuller. And I think now he's a little but bit- But he's more conditioned. He's more conditioned, but that doesn't always mean it's better if yeah. he's kind of a little bit flatter. Again, that's just my opinion, and it's only half of the show. So I think that his right. conditioning looks great, but I think that it takes a little bit away from his uh, X frame when his legs are just a little bit downsized the way they were tonight. So what is your top three placings in order? Right now, I have Samson in first. I have Nick uh, battling it out for second with right close by is gonna be um, Andrew. So what do you think a change at finals that could bring Nick into the first place spot? Because right now I've got Nick winning. I think it's really close between Andrew and Samson. I think it's closer between those two than it is between Samson and Nick. But what do you think the difference is gonna be at finals that could make Nick win and Samson slip behind him? I think if Samson starts to smooth out, mm -hmm. I think that's gonna really be a deal breaker for him. And I think that if he comes in, uh, Nick comes in fuller and be able to really get him his body to pop, then he'll be able to really try to move up at this point because half the show is only completed. Do you have mm -hmm. the other half of judging happening tomorrow? So in less than 24 hours. So it's gonna be really, really close. So I think the three are really competitive, but they just are very different bodies. Did you not feel like Samson smoothed out as the course of pre-judging went on? I felt like Andrew got a lot tighter towards the end and Samson smoothed out and they kind of moved Andrew closer to Nick for the majority of that latter half of the pre-judging. And I think the reason for that was that Samson started to smooth out. And I think he had a lot less uh, shine on than the other two guys. He seemed a little I think more... it was, that was more of an oil thing. Yeah, well, I think it was a more oil thing, but I think that just the overall silhouette, Samson's got really massive quads, and I think from behind, mm -hmm. you can see that thickness from behind, so you end up getting that wider X frame from behind on a guy like Samson than you do on someone right. like Nick, because like I said, when Nick's lost a little bit of his thigh sweep, it really narrows up his legs a bit from behind. Well, here's a question. Who do you think improved more from the Olympia between Samson and Andrew? Because I think they both looked better than they did at they the Olympia. They did, I think no it's question very, about it. very close. I think Andrew looks great because he's really, really sharp. Mm -hmm. I think Samson hardened up quite a bit too. So I think it's really close between them two because I believe one was six and the other one was eight. Mm -hmm. So it's really proportional. They both improved quite a bit. And we got to appreciate it more because of the lighting. Yeah, and they both jumped up over Rami this time, it seems, which is the next topic of conversation. So what did you think about the package that Rami brought to the Arnold compared to what he brought at the Olympia? And do you think the way they had him in pre-judging, it looked to me like fourth or fifth, and it would be Clarita ahead of him if he was fifth, which would be a pretty big deal. So what do you think? Absolutely. What do you think about how he looked here compared to the Olympia, and what does it mean if he does place fifth? I think he looks better here than he did at the Olympia, mm -hmm. but I think everybody else looks better as well. Right. I think the whole comparison with Clarita was an interesting one because you have someone who's a hundred pounds lighter, but yeah. he's got much more separation, and I think that what Rami is lacking right now is the separation. Mm -hmm. 
in his legs because he's got these gigantic legs. He's a little bit bottom heavy compared to upper body. And then the lack of separation where you have someone who Clarita, he looks really complete. And you know, they call him the giant killer and he, he's literally going up against the giant of the show. Mm -hmm. The biggest guy in, right now in bodybuilding, which is Big Ramy. Uh, over 100 pounds difference between the two guys, which is Over 100 pounds difference, and about. some people were telling me they thought that they had <laughs> they had um, the giant killer ahead of them. Now, but, to me, Clarita didn't look as sharp as he did at the Olympia. Do you think, what do you think about that? I, I agree. I think that he could have been a little bit sharper, but he came out a little bit fuller, a little bit bigger, mm -hmm. and I still think he's got way more separation, but again, it's, it's a matter of personal preference at that yeah. point. You got somebody who's massive, who you could say, hey, Rami could be Sean, yeah. but some people are like, wow, because how complete Sean is, there, there, there's a conversation. Mm -hmm. I still think uh, Big Rami's ahead of Sean, but some people will say, oh, because of the completeness and the separation that Sean Clarita has, right. he could be the giant. So Chad Nichols in the latest interview, he was talking about Rami and he said with these stem cell treatments that Rami's legs were almost back to 100% or back to what they were circa 2020. Did you think that was reflective at prejudging for Big Rami today? Yeah, I didn't definitely didn't see the, the divots as much. I don't know what they did, but I do know that they it's still overwhelmingly massive in terms of how big his legs are. I think that if he could just get more separation in his legs, yeah. I think it would definitely behoove him. But do they look better all around? Oh, I think he looks better than he did at the Olympia. I do. But, but you did think the lumps and the glutes were taken care of. I thought it was much, much better. So what do you think about the issue with his back? His lats are really high, higher than they were. Uh, do you think that is a result of nerve damage? And do you think this whole stem cell thing, what, what kind of difference do you think that can really make, especially in the short amount of time between the Olympia and now, and then from the last Olympia to the next Olympia, do you think that's enough time for those stem cell treatments to really make a big difference? It's really hard to say. I mean, obviously he's improved. Yeah. How much of it has to do with stem cells? How, how much of it has to do with other things that might have happened mm -hmm. last minute when it comes to the prep last time versus what they learned and they're making adjustments to this time? It's really hard to say. I mean, only they know. Mm -hmm. But all in all, does he still have a bit of an issue? Yes, it's, it's, it's definitely still there. But he has improved. I do yeah. think it, it's improved. But he still needs more separation. What do you think about his posing here? Because a lot of people were critical of his posing at the Olympia, trying to hide some of those flaws. Do you think he improved upon the way he was posing? I think his whole package was better. Okay. I, I think all, But again, these other guys were better too. Mm -hmm. So it was one of those things where he had placed fifth at the Olympia, and then you had some of the other guys basically be able to leapfrog him because they also made some substantial increases in terms of their mm -hmm. conditioning. So do you think that Clarita's gonna plays ahead of him? I don't know. I think it's really close because just from the from the judging, and I can see why that they want to look mm -hmm. at this because of the separation that Clarita has. He's very, very complete. He's just not huge, but that's what makes him so cool to see. Yeah. I like seeing that underdog being able to take out the right. big guys. So what about Bonac? That's another interesting topic of conversation. He kind of looks like he's outside of the, would he be outside of the top six, you think? It's another guy. I thought he was better than he was at the Olympia too. Yeah. You know, and part of it is lighting, but some part of it is I think his body's better. Mm -hmm. But I think that when you look at these set of guys, they all have improved. So it's been difficult to say exactly what happened right. with him. But you know, as you've seen his photos getting ready for the show, mm -hmm. it looked like he was improving. But I think ultimately compared to the best version of Bonac, what we saw before, he's lost a bit of thickness in his back and his back width, and it's made him a little bit right. more straight up and down because of it. So Derek Lunsford in this lineup, where do you think he would have played? No, oh, I... <laughs> Derek, no comment. How he looks right now, if he, if he stepped on stage with a coat of Protan, do you oh. think he'd be top three just right now? He's no, still riding no. glutes, separated <laughs> hamstrings. A lot of those guys don't have very separated hamstrings. I don't know. Maybe we should call him up and tell him to come on. This... <laughs> we'll do the next episode. We'll see. We'll, see. we'll get him on the camera. We'll do some posing. So what about classic physique? What do you think about the classic physique? I thought it was right on. I thought the, the judging was done in just... In what do you head. think Urs can do to really get himself into a spot where he could beat a guy like Ramon? Do you think he needs to add size? Is it the arms? He's, he's about as conditioned as he could possibly be. His conditioning was right on. I mean, both of the guys in the top two, him and Dino, were awesome. And I think that it really is about a little bit more muscle roundness and fullness because Urs, his leg separation is next level. His conditioning is awesome but he just needs to work a little bit more on roundness on the upper body. What do you think about Ramon's posing routine? I feel like he really needs to improve his posing. I think that it's just one of those things that some of the guys want to put a little extra time and effort into it and then others don't. 
I mean, I had Mr. Olympia winners that, <laughs> you know. <laughs> quite a few. Quite a few, but that, that went in and basically thought of the routine backstage and just kind of threw it out there. And some others that really put their time and effort into it. It's just a matter of personal preference at that point. And Chris bumps that in this lineup. Do you think he would have won? In the open? No, against uh, Ramon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I, I think I think Chris could have held his own. Because I thought Urs looked better than he did at the Olympia, but I thought Ramon looked about the same. Do you think Ramon looked better or worse? You know, I thought Ramon in certain shots actually looked better um, in certain shots, but and then in others, I felt like he just was about the same, but it wasn't a substantial jump, but yeah. I still think he looked great. But the guys looked awesome, you know, and I'm like impressed because some sometimes these guys go in another eight or nine weeks, they can't hold their condition, right. and I felt that they did a great job, but I do think that the lighting helped quite a bit too. Right. So what else you want to cover? No, <laughs> <laughs> that was a pretty, that was a pretty decent recap. What was that like five, eight minutes? No, Just, longer than that. How many minutes? Than that, shit. <laughs> that was right. That was pretty good. Yeah, no, that's got to be 10, 15 minutes. Okay. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap it up there. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Make sure you leave a like. Check out Hani's channel and his podcast, The Truth with Hani Rambot. If you guys want a really good podcast, so go subscribe to him and check out some of those episodes. Appreciate yeah. you guys stopping by. All right, guys, don't forget to click that like button and subscribe to this channel if you enjoy the content. Also, check out my Instagram at Nick Strength Power, my Facebook page, which is simply Nick Strength and Power, my secondary YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Vlogs, for vlogs and bonus content that you will not see on this channel. And consider subscribing to my third YouTube channel, Nick Strength and Pokemon, which is all things Pokemon and trading card games completely unrelated to this channel. So if you're into that, Give that one a look, and all links to merchandise and social media will be in the description box below. If you guys want a Nick Strength and Power t-shirt, that will be in the Shopify link below. Have a great day.